Hi, and welcome to our channel. Today we are back with another exciting part off the manhwa called Hidden Love. Sit back and enjoy the video, and please don't forget to subscribe from the last episode of Hidden Love. As it was the morning and Sangji was ready to go to school, where when she saw no one and called Duan Jia Shu, when she remembers him telling Sangji that he will await her arrival on the bus stop. She calls him and he asks if she has a wake, where Sangzi mentions about herself standing at the bus stop and says that if he will get to her late, he may have a girlfriend that will look as beautiful as a flower, but her body will be like transformers. In the meantime, her head is bonked with a water bottle, and when she looks beside her, it is Duang Jia Shu standing. While he looks at Sangzi, he asks if she even has any morals and mentions Ru Hua's name while complimenting her being a pretty girl. But as he compares her with Sang Zhi, Sang Zhi herself speaks up in shock that this comparison doesn't make any sense. Like the way she acts in response, she definitely is showing affection, but only acts against it. However, she again speaks up in response with frustration that he should not call her that. And in response to Ruhua's compliment, she says that Ruhua is nowhere near to being pretty. As you know, this little girl is also being naughty that being in such an age, she has become someone to acquire such feelings for even a guy this taller than her. But with his words, she says that he has teased her once again. Duan Jia Shu, who then comes close to her and says that why is Sang Zi this short-tempered as a child? And he was only joking with her while he places the bottle near to her face. She grabs the bottle and for your kind information, this is goat milk, and Sangji is allergic to goat and beef products. The way she looks closely to the bottle makes Duanjia Xiu ask her if she will not drink it, and in response, she puts the bottle in her bag and without looking at him, tells him that she will definitely drink it. Duanjia Xu says to tease her, that she will make him to rob it from her the way she is hiding it from him, and she says that it belongs to her as he has given it to her by now. Then, he points to the shop in the back and says to Sang Zhi that she should go over to the shop hurry and finish her homework. Bro, what about her school for which you are supposed to come here for? Anyway, they both then sit at a restaurant where Duan Jia Shu says that he will go and buy breakfast and when he gets up to pick from the items from the store. Sang Zi first looks at him and then looks at the cashier who is noticing her and smiling in response. And just then, when Duan Jashu asks from her to what she wants to eat, she quickly turns her head around and starts writing in her notebook. Don't know what he did back there, but he also comes sitting beside Sang Zi and start reading a book. Oh yes, he is eating a sandwich. Never mind. Sang Zi asks from him if he is still not on vacations, and in response he says that he is not. Sang Zi then wonders about his contact number, and the postal code is 123. This makes her wonder, and then proceeds to ask him about his residential place. He also tells her that he is not living in this city. After this, she comments on him returning home after exams, which leads to him going back home after two weeks until vacations. However, this is what you will be thinking about, and just by that, Duan Jia Shu responds to her that he will not go home and whatever is making her curious for him like that. He then points to her book and tells her to complete her homework before going to school. Sang Ji loses her thoughts and diverts from her homework, to which Duan Jia Shu pats her head and say to let her regain her focus on her homework. At about 7.15 on the close, Sang Ji tells big brother Duan Jia Shu that she has completed her homework and Duan Jia Shu tells her that now he will drop her at the front gate of her school. Later sometime, when Duan Jia Shu drops her by the front gate, and as she was about to leave, he asks her to stop for a moment and hands her a small piece of paper folded in her hands. For your interaction, and to see how immense you are in this story. You should answer this small question as I will wait for ten seconds here. Comment down the answer. It was that day from when both her heart and breathing rate accelerated. And after that, for her it's like being able to taste the taste of sweets in the air, and the small emotion gradually turned into a big tree. Where this little girl began to embrace a small hope, 
she every time then hopes and wonders about when she will meet with Duan Jiashu. She then puts the piece of paper in a bottle with some little crafted stars along with it, and wonders and hopes if she can grow up a little faster by herself and that each of her day can pass quickly. Somehow, the days came and summer vacation started. As by rewinding, Sang Zi mentioned after two weeks, the vacations will start. And by now, it is after two weeks, where Sang Ji is sitting at her home. Behind her is her brother Sang Yan tells her about him going out for a bit and suggests Sang Ji to better stay at home and do her homework. As she is questioned about him not being allowed to leave the house, she responds by saying that what if she will get hungry and even that mom and dad will not be back soon? Sang Yan mocks her that when he was at her age and would come to meet such a situation, he would stay at home and cook food by himself. He picks her cheeks and say that now he has to cook, and even take care of her beside. While Sang Zi mentions that they both are not same in such case, Sang Yan asks why they are not the same. Playfully teasing him, Sang Zi mentions that she is the one having a brother and he is not. And this way, they both are not same, which leaves Song Yan speechless. However, Song Yan then turns around and says that he doesn't have any time to spend around in the house. And so either quickly he wants Sang Zi to tell him what she want to eat so that he can buy otherwise, if she want to sit at home and die of hunger, she is most welcome. Sang Zi is seen typing something on her cell phone and puts the phone to her ears and says that dad, big brother is telling her to die. Sang Yan who comes in a hurry and takes the phone from her to make her stop. But as he takes it and checks on her phone, there is seen nothing in the call log and Sang Ji was only pranking him. He becomes angry and says that she is such a monster and was playing with him in ager. In response, Sang Ji says that she only rehearsed once, but now she will definitely call dad. Sang Yan throws her cell phone back to her and tells her to call now, but as she will now take her turn, he will take his turn with it. He seems to be holding a broom to which Sang Zi says that he dare to hit her and see what mom and dad will beat him like when they will come home. Sang Yan says that it's fine, but as long as they will come home, he will have beaten Sang Zi and that will be fair. With some footsteps far, Sang Yan asks her as first referring to her as a little kid and wants her to come to him or if she is making him to walk up on her. Sang Yan starts getting closer to her and Sang Ji quickly speaks up that it is her fault and apologizes that she won't do it again. Sang Yan reliefs himself saying that it would be much better if she could say this a bit early and if will not go against his will and if she will listen to him genuinely, he will in return get her delicious food almost every day. There, he sits in the entrance, and while he wears his shoes, he tells Sang Yan that he will go out with his roommates and if there is anything she can call him. And also that she should not arbitrarily open the door to strangers while he is away. As he leaves, Sang Zi starts wondering about his roommates where Duan Jia Xu is also one from them, she wonders that probably he, Sang Yan, is going out to meet with him. The piece of paper she had received from Duan Jia Shu is still a mystery for us all until now. And just now, when she goes back into He Room and try to take out the same thing in which she is keeping it very securely, that same paper, her phone starts ringing. She picks it up and it is her friend by the name Lily. Lily mentions on the phone call that Mikiel's birthday is coming next Tuesday, and as he said that he wants to go to the karaoke together. She wants to ask from Sang Ji if she is up for joining them together. In response, Sang Ji says that she wants to buy some gifts, so she is busy and won't be able to join them for now. Lily says that they are already on summer vacations, and what does Sang Zi actually means by saying that? She also adds that if Sang Zi will come empty handed, she will definitely look very awkward, and adding up the sentence, Sang Zi says that now she will definitely not come as it is much reasonable. Lily, in awe, says that she can't be like that, and at the most, she said that gift she prepared was the two of them to buy together. And while Sang Zi stays silent, Lily says that it is her time to go to her extra class, but hangs up while mentioning to Sang Zi that she will come along. Left alone, 
is Sang Zi and her intrusive thoughts. She wonders that from the day she had received a note from Duan Jia Xu, they have not met with each other. Someone named on her phone by Jack, she wonders to send a message as happy ceremony or the nearest ceremony. However, correcting her thoughts, she types the message of something like, you can see here, still her satisfaction level is not yet reached, so she decides to delete it as it also doesn't make any sense. However, she wonders if she can pretend to send the wrong message to someone, but as if it will seem like intentional, or if she can pretend to call by accident. There it is for now. As if this story is making you more curious, and if the story's suspense is much entertaining, tune in and subscribe to our channel to watch the complete story with us. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button if you really enjoyed watching this video, and do subscribe with that notification bell turned on so that you don't miss on our updates. Your feedback will encourage us to do more, so make sure to let us know in the comments. Thanks.